So, as you can probably tell, I am in my garage this morning. It's um, six degrees outside and about 50 degrees inside my garage. I got a little space heater, a uh, gas heater that I use. And one of the great things I love about the Cricut, again, the top comes down. I can pull this thing in with a standard size garage door, height garage door. And um, basically I've been working on a number of different things uh, over the past month or so, and just hopping on when I get a chance, um, and basically just leaving my camper inside here. Um, my son doesn't like it because he has to park outside, but it's not his garage. So anyway, I want to show you a couple things that I've done since uh, last time uh, I posted a video. Last time I posted a video, I, I uh, posted it about the bed that uh, I created a second layer on the bed so you could have uh, you could actually sleep four people in here um, we did do that uh, down in Missouri at Table Rock Lake uh, last summer um, and it worked out really really well so the beds in the normal position now because um, we've used it in the fall with just my wife and I and um, but there's a couple things that I wanted to show you last fall uh, we, uh, we left late at night, uh, one, one night to go to Wyoming and spend, uh, three or four days in Vitavu, um, uh, mountain biking and doing some disc golfing. Anyway, so, uh, we wanted to leave, we, we probably left at 10 o'clock at night, um, and headed out, and around 1 o'clock we got to a rest area, and obviously, when you get to a rest area, you don't want to pop the top. Um, so we just crawled in and uh, went to sleep. It was really, really nice. It actually worked out real well with the, uh, the, the sides of the cricket are so well insulated. It was very quiet in there and um, we didn't hear trucks or anything. And, and when we woke up in the morning, there were lots more trucks around us. We never even heard anything. And um, the one issue that I had was um, because the top was down, and uh, the the night that we were there, it wasn't it wasn't too bad, but I was just concerned, or I am concerned, if it's hotter, that um, we'd need some ventilation. And I know on the Cricut you can open these windows just a little bit. I wouldn't want to open them very far, just because you know you're staying in a rest area and whatever. Um, but you can crack those uh, windows just a quarter of an inch, but that doesn't allow for very much uh, airflow. Um, and so, after looking back and forth and trying to figure out what I wanted to do, and seeing that uh, Taxa is actually putting uh, a fan on their new trailers, uh, I think as an option, I decided to go ahead and uh, install one myself. So, um, that's the Max Air Fan with um, multiple speeds. I think it's got like 11 speeds, maybe 9, nine or 11, I can't remember. Um, but the thing that I really liked about the Max Air versus, I think it's Fantastic Fan, um, you don't have to pop the lid up at all. It, um, the top is um, designed in such a way so that air will flow either in or out with the lid down. And um, I really like that feature for, um, you know, stopping at a rest area or... or uh, Walmart or whatever uh, we got planned for this spring um, so um, let me just show you how that works one of the other things that I did was I lap before uh, before we went down to Table Rock I also installed uh, these lights and basically I added a switch right here and that switch powers those lights and um, you can you can individually turn a light off by the switches up here or have both of them on and it also powers the fan so um, you know I can turn the fan on and all of this is running off of my battery um, but it doesn't take very much and uh, I'm pretty satisfied with the fan actually uh, it works really well it looks good and um, 
like I said, you don't have to pop the uh, the lid in order for in order to run the fan. Okay, so that's the fan. That's a couple of lights that I added. Basically, I had some extra wire down here, and um, I just I ran the uh, power to this switch and ran the ran wire all the way back. It comes up here into this junction box and then uh, to the lights. So that's how I did that. One other thing that I we were trying to figure out the best way to have storage. Um, because you know with the with the pop the uh, with the top that pops down and up, you can't really put storage up here very easily. Although I do have an idea that I'm gonna do something up here, I think. So we found these baskets um, on Amazon and basically it allowed us to take some of the stuff that that was being uh, some of the space that was being used down here for things that we wanted to get to quite often and throw them up here. We could put some food in here if we wanted. I just put some of the stuff up here to show what it was like. Um, so those are the baskets. I also put a basket. I don't know if you noticed when I came in on the outside of the door or on the door. So when the door is open, um, this is stuff that I want to get to from the outside. Maybe an umbrella, first aid kit, lantern, headlamps, and my camp lamp stand, which I'm going to talk about in another video. Um, just stuff like that, carabiners, whatever. So we put that basket outside for that purpose. So if you've been watching some of the other videos that I've made, you know that I uh, I did put this drawer in. This is like a, a catch-all drawer. It has lots of different things in here. Um, every kitchen needs one. But I also kind of wasn't satisfied with the amount of space that we had available. Uh, or maybe not the space that we had available, but really the um, the accessibility that... Uh, that space allowed and so I added this drawer this is a big deep drawer it basically has all of our pots and pans glasses um, has underneath it has um, Ziploc bags and stuff like that stuff that used to be at the back of this thing and would be almost impossible to get out you have to be on your hands and knees digging underneath there trying to figure out trying to find something so I uh, added that drawer and um, I have it I had to have it just high enough so it would go over this piece of this rug and you can see there's hardly any space underneath here or maybe you can't see but anyway um, so that's the drawer and then also over here if you know uh, my Cricut you have this big space here. I'm not really sure what they were intending for that big space. It's tall, it's narrow, but I, I have a fan that's, that's stored underneath there, which I'm not sure I actually need anymore because we got the Max Air fan. I used to hang that fan right here in this window. I don't know if I'll need it. But anyway, we have this fan here, um, but it still leaves quite a bit of space here. So what I really want to do is add a drawer so I added this drawer so that we could put knickknacks and stuff in. Basically, just trying to maximize the amount of storage space that's in here. Um, doing whatever I could think of to um, allow that extra storage. I think it's kind of important. Um, so uh, those are, I don't know, four, four or five different things that I've done over the past uh, couple months. The fan I just put in um, uh, probably two months ago and then I just added these drawers and the baskets last month. Um, I'm gonna have a couple other videos a um, couple things from the outside that I've changed around from since my last video and also I want to talk about um, my camp lamp stand that I'm that I made to um, hold a, uh, a little camping lantern over a picnic table, but that's on another video. So, anyway, uh, subscribe if you like this video. Please give me a give me a thumbs up, and um, 
We'll catch you next time. Thanks.